So we're in Christchurch. We've noticed something that everyone here is very, very, very old. It's lovely. Kumar, if you were a 70 year old man and you were, you were single and you were trying to uh, get a lovely 80 year old lady, this is the place. Yeah. Would I go older though? Is there, is there like a specific like dating app for old people? Like sort of Tinder? There's a channel, 50 plus wives, I'm not sure about the app. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like, it sounds like you do know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was an adult channel for the elders. Right, our food's arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, there's an amazing mural of King Charles. Um, it's either he's sunburned or it's the day he found out his brother was a nonce. So this is one of the cool things about touring. When the sun is out, you just get to wander about. And here we are in Bournemouth and you can see a lot of men with particularly fat nipples. I've never seen so many, but the areola is mighty in Bournemouth. So nice just having a mooch about, enjoying the sun, and in a couple of hours, we'll be doing a big old sweaty arena. Uh, spoiler alert, Man City just won the FA Cup. Uh, but for me, the most, the biggest highlight was the fact that Daniel had some hot wings. That's not good. <laughs> and, uh, they're so hot, he's had to put Vaseline on his lips. This year, after he's not played, Alvarez has usually took on that role. It begs the question, who brings Vaseline on their brother's tour? Why, why'd you bring Vaseline to a, a comedy tour? For the greater good. <laughs> what are we going to do without football? That's the big thing, isn't it? What, what do people who don't like football do? What do they do with their life? Because our life is ruined. For the, the seven weeks when the Premier League's not on, what do they do? Garden centre? Yeah. Spend time with their families? I don't know, it all sounds very peculiar. Reese, you're not really into football. What do you do a weekend? Just like, go to the pub with Yeah, and not what watching the football. At? What do you look at when you're in the pub? Just like each other. <laughs> 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 That's interesting. Basically, I've got to look at Birdie the remainder of the tour. Yeah. So that feels like a lot of pressure on me. We could maybe have like excursions. We could go to... Um, go to castles and stuff. Let's go to castles, marinas, um, bric-a-brac sales. Yeah. I can imagine you doing some painting. That's not a bad question. Yeah. Are you a bit of an artist? Me? Yeah. yeah. I've got an A and A level art if you're interested. Did you? Oh, yeah, I could smell oh, the easel off you. Do you think of the whole like, adult painting book? Oh, the adult painting book? Yeah. What? I, th I think it's desperate but I don't think I just feel sorry for those people it's just where do you stop yeah. do you adult but tricycle you'll be sucking your mum's tits if you carry on like that if you carry on aggressive yeah exactly where do you end up you end up back in the womb exactly you end up in your mum yeah yeah so I would never do that no. Daniel your opinions adult coloring in no but that's what it says now do this bit red and now do this bit that's blue what, um, and now that's what I was doing. yeah that's not great though. No, exactly. Uh, uh, where's my colour in gone? I want that. So here we are in the Bournemouth Arena called the Bournemouth International Centre. Um, it's a 4,000 seater. I like doing arenas, they were fun, but it just feels like now. I think you can be better in a theatre than yeah. you can in an arena because basically I hadn't toured anything other than arenas for like, f I don't know, four or five tours. And we did some gigs in Europe that were like 2000s. Mm. And they were so much fun yeah, that we really were like, oh, let's, let's do this again. What's the difference between playing somewhere like Top Secret versus playing like Wembley? What's the difference between Top Secret and Wembley? Uh, well, you don't <laughs> start off Top Secret 250,000 pounds in debt, uh, which is crucial because that's how, <laughs> that's what it is to start Wembley. Imagine if Schofield had booked an arena tour. Yeah. He'd be absolutely fucked. He's already paid the deposits. Yeah, he's got no young staff. He's got no young, yeah, he's gonna, staffing's gonna be an issue for him. Yeah. Now, the, the main difference is that you can just, just rock up and just do it. 
so I can just go to Top Secret whenever I want and just do 20 minutes and just do new stuff and read from a piece of paper. You can't just rock up to the O2 and go, do you mind if I do 20? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that Elton John's in the middle of Rocket Man. You're like, can I? I've got some new stuff about my asshole. <laughs> is that all right? What's really odd is you have jokes that really work in a little room that just don't quite make the leap. It's a bit like, like a championship player can't play in the World Cup, but it did a job on a Tuesday. Yeah. And some jokes that really don't particularly work well in a little room really grow in a big room. Mm. So routines that you can really elongate with like a mime. It's a longer story. They really work in a big room in a way that at a comedy club it's like, mate, come on, because yeah. everyone else is going boom, boom, boom. But if you do that for an hour and a half... Yeah, it just it, becomes like a tunnel, you're going... Rah. Yeah. First arena I did was Wembley Arena. And we did that. That was your first arena, yeah. Wembley? Yeah. <laughs> we did it in 2009. was at the end of Adventures. It was a, a, a tour I did, Adventures. And then the following tour was called Big Rooms and Belly Laughs. So the first time we did an arena, it was just mad. And Steve Hall, who isn't here, he threw up on the walkway to the gig. As his name was being announced, he vomited. It was hilarious. So that really calmed me down. <laughs> Genuinely. He vomited it calmed you down. I just thought it was so funny. He's like, ladies and gentlemen, please, rah, rah, welcome to the stage. And he's like, like wiping sick off himself. Do you know what really know the, the, the closest to it now is when I do like, like doing the Tonight Show with like Jimmy Fallon and like Colbert and all that. Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest from the Russell Howard Hour and his Netflix stand-up special, Lubricant. Please welcome Russell Howard. Hello. They're, they're weird, man, because you spend a week like doing comedy clubs in New York or LA and they just check every word and it's got to be four and a half minutes it can't and if you go over they'll just cut you do you know what I mean as in the mid sentence and it just goes to that okay bye that you know so it's got to be so precise but god they're fun when you when when you finish them there's a real sense of like bloody hell we just done the tonight show do you know what I mean mad wasn't it yeah yeah I remember seeing the James Corden that was good as well wasn't it yeah really kicked that in the fucking cunt <laughs> Absolutely busted that nut open. That's what you said, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I did. And now we're going to play three nights in um, in a four thousand seater, which is pretty sweet, man. Mm, the weather's nice. I am worried about my brother, though. I think he's in real trouble. <laughs> Absolute joy it is to be in this fucking lunatic place. 